Hello lovely people of the internet! I don't know how I'm even going to start this. Starting with a bowl of cereal! God, do you ever think about how long it takes to chew something? I'm so hungry. It's going to be about five minutes of me eating. I'm quite a fast eater, don't worry. Yes, I'm back with my first video after for so long. I've been trying to film this all day. So today I was going to talk about relationships. Clearly I have very, very healthy relationships. And I am in no way a love guru, but I have been through some difficult relationships. So without further ado, let's get started. So by using the actual words itself in the He's Just Not That Into You book, Busy is another word for asshole. Asshole is the guy that you're dating. <laughs> oh, that is so good. So the first sign that the relationship isn't gonna get off to a good start or we're having trouble with this relationship right at the beginning is if he's not calling you. I've got my little notebook here, my little heart notebook so that I can read that off. So if I glance down, that that's the reason why. So if he's not calling you, it could be any situation. It could be he's at work or he's with his mates or he's traveling or he, he lives far away from you or he's stressed or he's got something on his mind, something like that. And he's not calling you, that's the situation. If he's not calling you, it's because you're not on his mind. You're on my mind all of the time. Constantly on my mind. So you could be right at the start of your relationship. It could be three weeks, three months, six months, uh, a year into the relationship. Um, and he, if he's having trouble to calling you at any point at this time, it's a bad sign. If you're feeling any disappointment at all around those times that he hasn't been calling you when he said he would, I suppose you can give him some excuses or you'll see how it goes. But then if you've got a constant state of uneasiness because he's started to become completely unreliable, then that's bad. If you're starting to cry or you have any tears at all, then that's really bad. So what I'm saying is if he creates expectations for you and then doesn't follow up on the little things, he will do the same for the big things and it, that he's okay with disappointing you. First of all, my advice is, and the book's advice is, don't be with somebody who doesn't do what they say they're going to do. And I don't mean just, oh, he forgot to put up a fence or a shelf. I mean things that he knows are important to you and that are important to a relationship, especially at the start. And don't be with someone who doesn't respect your feelings and your needs especially right at the start when it's really fresh and it's supposed to be a honeymoon period and it seems like he doesn't think about you. What do you think? Do you think I'm opinionated? And even more so, if you have been fighting about it recently, he could immediately bring harmony to this reoccurring fight about him not calling you enough and it just takes a simple effort for him to do that. Either way, you deserve a phone call. I'm always disappointed in you. Always. You do nothing for anybody. So these are some of the personal excuses that I have actually heard and my friends have heard as well. My phone's broken. My phone is lost. My phone battery died and I'm in hospital. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Yes, it's sad, isn't it? Excuses that are absolute terrible excuses. <laughs> but if by any chance they are true, there are a number of ways that you can get in touch with us. <sighs> there are so many different excuses that all mean the same thing. How do you even get into these? Oh. Oh, I love cheese. <laughs> if he's not calling you, it's because you're not on his mind. If he creates expectations for you and then doesn't follow through on them, he's okay with disappointing you. Don't be with someone who doesn't do what they say they're going to do. If he's choosing not to make a simple effort 
to bring harmony to a reoccurring fight, then he doesn't respect your feelings and needs. Busy is another word for asshole, and you deserve a phone call. I know, I know. Life is so hard for a little cat that does nothing. So thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video on how guys not calling might be an indicator that he's just not that into you. I'm gonna be doing more of those sort of things later on going through the book and talking you through that as well. Also, in the next couple of videos, I'll be doing some more pet videos, and especially on the squirrels, as everyone is quite interested in knowing how they came to be and how I started looking after them and how I got them to healthy, almost adults now. So stay tuned, and thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye! He got struck in the head, and now he can't remember you. Oh, she smells so good. She smells like cat. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh. Oh.